my lovelies how you guys doing welcome to another episode of let's cook by queensley i hope you guys are having a wonderful and a lovely day so guys we're just going to get in no before we start i wanted to remind you guys of our chaos kitchen so guys you know what it's all about by chaos kitchen you want us to turn your kitchen into a wellness oasis, the best place in your home, the place you feel comfortable to go in and out, to cook, to arrange it, to make cooking easy and fun for you and your family, contact us. Oh, we are all over the world. We take your details and whenever we are in your country, we turn your kitchen into that which you want. Guys, the best part of it is, it's free. So let's go into our recipe for today proper. Today I'm going to share a very easy bread recipe with you, soft bread recipe. And even if you don't like bacon, this is definitely for you because it's that easy. So what we got here, 375 grams of flour, we got um, 55 grams of butter, we've got some um, sugar here, 45 grams sugar, We've got, as so you're going to use a teaspoon of salt and six grams of fresh yeast. You can use a dry one as well. And 250 ml of some warm milk, guys. So we go into it, right? We put in our milk right here. And then we've got one egg. If I didn't say that, I'm sorry, bestie. So we're going to break that egg right inside. And then we're going to pour in our sugar. So we'll take this a little bit of spoon and measure our salt. So we've got that and we're gonna mix all of this together. So we're just gonna mix that. And make sure you mix that very well. So now, after mixing the sugar, make sure the sugar dissolves in it. After doing that, you take your flour, guys. You can see that. You pour that right into your liquid mixture and then you put in your yeast right away and you mix that all together. So mix that to form a dough, guys. So that's this, I change into a spatula. You can, but that was good for the mixing of the mixture. And um, that's this, I made a little bit mistake. I'm gonna just correct myself right there. My flour wasn't 375 grams, it was 425 grams of flour, 425. I'm going to put that also in the description, I mean our ingredient list. If you see our videos, we always put our ingredient list right there in the front. So guys, make sure you mix that to form a dough with your spatula or if you have any other type of mixture. And then when all that is mixed, what you're going to do is you have a butter at room temperature. It's always easier. My butter is a little bit hot. We're going to put the butter right inside our dough and we're going to mix it till the butter is fully incorporated in our dough. Join me guys, it's that easy. Make sure you bring out your butter if you're not doing it immediately with me. A few hours before you use it and your butter will be super soft already and it makes your recipe really easy for you. My butter still needs like 10-20 minutes to be on room temperature, do not use a microwave to melt your butter and don't do that. It makes your dough to be too liquid I and mean, then it become too liquid for you. So I'm just gonna mix that all together. Can you see that? Now we're gonna cover this for two hours in the refrigerator. If you do it in the evening, you can leave it till the next morning before baking. So let's say you do it in the night or in daytime. So you can just, I'm gonna get some more paper and um, you can leave it in the fridge for two hours when you're doing it in the daytime. So when you're doing it in the evening, you can just do your bread in the morning, you can continue in the morning. That's why I say it's that easy. Even when you don't like bacon, it's not stressful. After mixing, put it in the fridge, you bring it out later and form into a dough, no, form into your bread. So guys, just in case, when you are mixing and you have the feeling that your dough is too uh, liquid, you can add in a little bit of more flour. Feel free to experiment with your recipe as well, okay? So guys, I'll see you in the next two to three hours. I'm gonna leave mine in the fridge to cool up. Our 90 minutes is over. I didn't refrigerate overnight. You can do that if you mix your dough in the evening. So, our dough is rested already, so just sprinkle a little bit of flour in that. And then I'm just going to, ooh, that looks good and strong, you know. So I'm gonna transfer that from here. Maybe just a little bit mixed in this place. So 
We're going to transfer that now into a walking surface. So that's it. So, and then you see it looking good, right? Cool. A little bit of sprinkling so you don't get us just talking. So, we're just going to press that down and then cut that into two equal halves. Just form that into a ball here. I rain them and make sure your surface is uh, having some flaws so it doesn't stick. If you have a wooden surface, the other type is good, it hardly gets stick, okay? Lovely, so we have 10 minutes wait. Why don't we discuss a little? So I have a I have a tip, another tip, that's why I told you not to go anywhere. So if you have a recipe you are using to do something. The first time you're using that recipe, try and stick 100% to that recipe. And if it doesn't come out just the way you rather have it, you try the recipe the second time in your own way. Remove some things, add up some things. So for instance, if somebody tells you two cubes of Maggi and it comes out too tasty, like too much Maggi. What do you do the next time you put one Maggi and say it? So what I'm trying to say is, it's good to stick to recipe 100%, but the best is you stick the first time 100%, and if it doesn't come out the way you want it, then change the recipe, make it your own recipe by removing or adding in some things. So if I ask you to use bacon in some of your product, oh, you use bacon the first time, why don't you try chicken the second time and see how chicken is gonna taste? You know what I mean? Feel free to experiment with every recipe you are using and you'll come up with your own amazing recipe, guys. All we're gonna do is gonna bring them out, same one of them. It's all rested. We're just gonna pour in some flour here, you know, and gonna pat that down with our hands, you know, press that down, just you gotta do this with your hands, you see it? And now when you finish spreading with your hand, we're gonna roll that up, you know? Just roll that. See, our dough is very elastic. So we're gonna roll it. You see what I'm doing? You roll and roll and roll. So, you see that? So I decided to change this pan to this two so I could bake two, four, six, six each, you know. So you can bake complete two of each. So here's how this look. And here is how this look. So we're going to cover that with, um, with this fan hour. And in one place, I'm just going to leave that in the kitchen. Then we'll let the dough, the dough rise. Our dough has to rise for an hour, or you check it after an hour. If it's double in size, then you know it's ready to be baked, ready to go into the oven. So that's just it. So gonna let that rest. Rest. And then we're gonna cover it up with this one more time. So guys. Voila! A bread. That's a bread. Look at how recent that is already. It's double in size, if not more. So guys. If you have a bigger pan, use a bigger pan for all, not just like me. I have to quite um I have to put everything there. You see? So that is it. So now we're gonna put in our use our egg wash to rub that and put it in the oven 15 minutes. Just do that gently. I'm gonna get that right into the oven, and this is going to be Breakfast yummy, yummy breakfast. So, oven is already on. I'm gonna push that right in. And the second one also in. Oh, cover that up for 10 to 20 minutes. Soft bread is ready. Check this out. Looks good, right? So, lovely. You might be wondering where the second pan is. 
So that I just grate for like, I put it in the oven for like five, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, and I just keep that away because I want to frozen that, won't be needing it for a while. So when I want to bake it again, I bring it out, I let it defrost, and I just pre-bake again in the oven. I mean, I'll bake one more time in the oven. So this is this. So we're going to remove this from the pan. So back that out. Ta-da! Can you see that? It's looking good, right? Yeah. So we're just going to do something. Press that in, it's going to come up immediately. You press that, it's really hot. Are you seeing that? Press in, Ooh, hot, down, see? That's, that's how soft it looks, guys. So, now, we're going to open that up. I didn't know if you're seeing this. Ooh. Can you see? See our bread? Maybe you can see that. You see her? See that? That's our soft bread. So, that's all you're gonna do. Press that together. You kids can eat it like that, you can eat it like that, or you fry fry egg and use it for breakfast. It's amazing. It's really good guys. Really good. Check this out. Delicious. Really delicious guys. Super soft, super easy, not so much ingredient, no stress. But come to the end of today's amazing episode of Let's Go Bye with me. So we're going to see you in our next episode of Let's Go by Queen Sleep. And don't forget, our um, Chaos Kitchen is ongoing. I have to keep reminding you guys over and over again. Chaos Kitchen, a lot of people have applied now. So we are going to work it all gradually. So if you're interested in turning your kitchen to a wellness house, to a paradise, your paradiso, just let us know. It's completely free, guys. Completely free. So, see you in our next episode. Love you and God bless you. Stay safe today.